All right, hello. Mic test. All right, cool. Mic works. Um, that's what you can do with the customizable drum rack. Um, I would do want to apologize first and foremost for having this kind of like uh, buzz sound on the microphone. It's the fan on my computer, and like no matter what I can do, I can't block it out because this condenser microphone picks up a lot. So anyway, there's that sound, but just ignore it, please. Um, anyway, you can make this super cool customizable drum rack. Uh, you know, as you can see, as I press something, that that lights up on the screen down here. And uh, this video is going to show you how to make that. It's really easy. If you have any kind of pads on your MIDI controller, you can uh, customize those pads to play whatever you want, whether it's a sample, whether it's an instrument, whether, I mean, like a, a MIDI instrument, or even, uh, you know, MIDI uh, kick sounds, snare sounds, drum sounds like that. Um, you can also throw in samples, like, anywhere in there, uh, using samples on your computer. And I'll show you that. But, um, yeah, it's super easy. Um, it should work for any kind of controller that has pads, as long as the controller is a MIDI controller. All right, you can have an analog drum machine from back in the day. They're super cool and vintage, I know, but uh, those are completely different. The signal that those send is an analog signal, and that won't work with a with a MIDI track that you're using um, to uh, to do this. All right, so I'm going to open up a track. I am limited using Ableton Lights. I only have eight tracks, so I'm going to delete delete one of these. And uh, I'm going to open up a brand new track. So to do that, you want to come and right click on an existing track. And then you want to do insert MIDI track. All right. And once again, it has to be a MIDI controller. So make sure you have a MIDI uh, drum pad or a MIDI um, pad control unit. Like this MPD-26 is a USB MIDI pad control unit. Okay. And you want to insert the MIDI track there. You're going to have an empty MIDI track. All right. And it says MIDI. All right. Um, and you'll have that. If you have light or trial, you only get eight tracks. So make sure you ha you're only using eight. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you can't open a MIDI track, uh, it's because you're limited with the amount of space you have. But if you have pr if you have the standard or suite version, you can have unlimited tracks, which is more useful. All right. So now you have this empty track here. You want to come up to the left area. You have all these categories and stuff. You want to come to drums. Okay. And then from the drums, you want to load this empty drum folder that's right here. All right, it's just you think it's a folder that all these kits come in, and they do, but you want to actually drag that folder onto the empty MIDI track, and then it's going to open up a blank uh, drum customizable drum rack that you can do. If you pick one of these, all right. If you pick those, you're going to get an already populated drum rack that's already preset whatever way those drums are. So that's useful if you want to be quick about it and just get a, cust a really quick, not custom drum drum rack. But if you want to add samples to that drum rack or you want to add, you know, watermarks, like I have these watermarks here, samples and stuff, you can do it um, a lot more effectively with uh, this empty one. So you want to drag this empty one either onto the MIDI track or down here into this little, uh, this little box on the bottom, browser content plane. And uh, you'll notice you have an empty version of what I had over here. So you see all these, that's already filled in, and that's customized. But now you ha you'll get this empty one. And you basically just want to put in sounds. So you come to the left area here, you can take whatever sounds you want. Um, the pads are pretty cool because they're, they're, uh, they're kind of cool to use. And you just want to pick one you like. And like that, all you have to do is just drag it um, into that empty spot. So now I'm going to drop the volume on my old drum rack so you don't hear that one. And you'll hear when I press that top, that top left pad. All right. So that's how you do it. You can edit the way it sounds. All right, with the filter cutoff, with um, various just editing ways on the sound. Each instrument or sound is going to have a different thing. If it's like an actual instrument, like uh, one of these things. You'll notice that it's different, all right, because this one's a different sound. So 
Alright, so there you go for that. Um, you can also do samples, which is super useful. If you have samples on your computer that you want to load in there, like if I come to my files here, I have all these 808s and random noises and stuff. I can take this 808 and actually put that in there so I can put boom, look at that. You know, so if you get a drum kit online, download a free drum kit. I know some on Future Producers, uh, Head Cutter has a free one. Um, Shout out to Headgutter. But uh, some people have free drum kits. You can also buy professional ones. But, you know, they're all professional, you know. But, like, yeah. So, now this 808 is right there. Alright. It's just, it's kind of quiet. So, you do want to use the, the sounds that come from Ableton uh, over here. You have all these sounds. There are drums. Um in here so drum hits all right if you come to drum hits you have kicks various kicks that you can choose all right these are from th these are from a drum kit so i actually bought these uh, but you can take that drum kit and bam you now have you now have this all right so you just go through and customize this however you want um, you can add samples so if I come to my sample folder and I come to this and I have a lot I gotta organize this man it was organized when it started and then it just as time moves on it just gets worse and worse it's crazy <laughs> but uh, I should have I don't know I don't know where they go man here we go Ah, nah, it's nothing. They're not in there. I don't know where the hell they are. But anyway, um, you can put samples in there. It's just these things. So maybe I can take it from here. Yeah, that works. It might move it from there, though. So I can use this sample. All right. Um, so you can put, you can customize this really, really, really far. Um, now there are ways to do like noise and gate if you want to wake, make the way it. Uh, maybe you can solo the tracks. You can mute a certain track so that track won't play, um, etc. And you can really customize the way this works with the with the MIDI controller. So this is kind of a little look into how to make a customizable drum rack again you just want to open up a MIDI track once your controller is plugged in you want to insert an empty MIDI track and then you just come over to uh, these sounds or samples from your computer or whatever and you just drag them in where you want to have them if your controller only has like eight you probably only have to use the uh, the eight on the bottom or just experiment with it and find where the pads are matched up with uh, the software Okay, so that's how you make a customizable drum rack. If this isn't working for you, if you have any questions, please contact me or ask a question in the comments and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. And I uh, hope this was helpful in making a customizable drum rack using Ableton. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace.